So my revision methods were so poor, if you could even call them methods. I wasn't concentrating, I wasn't focused. I just wasn't putting any work in behind the scenes and at home. I would just maybe sit for 30 minutes, 45 minutes with a book or a screen and I'd scroll. I wouldn't take any information in, I'd read it and pretend that I've learned it and then go off and say, oh, look, I've revised. In reality, I really hadn't. I used to save my revision very last minute, which didn't really end up well for me. I just used to get back from school and not revise properly. I'd go through my notes like the day before the exam and it wasn't really effective. I was trying to do big chunks of work all at once without breaking them down into topics and that can be a bit overwhelming and it's hard to feel like you've finished a topic until you've done all of it. My revision methods now have changed vastly. I use flashcards, dual coding, interleaving. They really, really help me to, you know, effectively take in information, which in comparison to, you know, my scrolling for 30 minutes on the screen, is much better. I mostly use flashcards and knowledge organizers. Knowledge organizers has helped me because it, it has all the content in one place and it's really fast. So anything you need to see, you can see it. I think flashcards are really effective when you space your flashcard revision out. Mind maps and knowledge organizers are actually really helpful for me. And by using those two methods, it's really easy to differentiate what topics or what units you're not familiar with, and then you can further work on that. I found a different revision method for each subject. For my languages, I use a lot of flashcards just to get the vocabulary in my brain, and for law, which is a lot more content heavy, I do a lot, of, a lot of mind maps. I have been going every Thursday night at 7 p.m. to power hour to just kind of sit there with other people who want to study in a group, but not necessarily in a communicative way, just independently, but with other people. It's quite motivating, I think, because it's not competitive, it's not distracting. You're just sat there and working with other people who want to do as well as you. Power Hour has helped me a lot in boarding because there are a lot of students in one place so you can really exchange ideas and things about revision. We all know what to work on, what to revise, so we can just ask each other questions or do the same past papers. And that's really, really handy because, you know, if we don't understand something, one friend might not know it, but the other might, so we can all talk to each other at the same time. If everybody's got the same goal, it's usually you just get down, like work, get cracking, and I think it helps. In year 10, I didn't revise with my friends that much, but I think in year 11, we realised that revising with each other is a very effective way to like know the content. Like We're spending time together and we're also exchanging knowledge that's like important for our exams. I learned my methods for revision in form time or just from teachers and my subjects. You know, They tell me how I can improve, what to improve, and then they say, try this method, and if it works for you, then keep doing it. Try different ones out, it doesn't have to be all of them, but just see what works best for you, you know. For me, I found that flashcards worked, and that won't work for everyone, but it's about, you know, what you like, what you get on with, and if it helps you. I try to use flashcards a lot, which um, I didn't find quite useful for me personally, because I'm the type of person that really needs like graphics and drawings incorporated in my revision materials. I've actually seen a, an immense improvement in my grades ever since um, actually finding out what methods works for me. At the start of the year, I was getting like five, six across all of my sciences, but now I'm stably getting nine nines in it. The same goes for English. English at the start of the year, I would say I was a six, seven, but now I'm closer to a seven and eight. I went from, you know, averaging fours, even fives in physics, and now I get eights and nines every assessment, and that's, that's really, really good to see because I didn't feel too good about what I was doing, and now I feel great. I get that motivation to revise and to keep organised from my peers, actually, because I see a lot of my friends getting those top grades, and it, it really it makes me want to push to be better because I know I'm not achieving the best grades that I can achieve, and it, it makes me feel really motivated when I see them do so well and then you know, be so happy with their results, and I want to feel like that as well. I think having a goal is very important. I really want to go to university and to study languages, and so I know that this is how I'm going to get there, and so for me it's just working hard to achieve what I want later. By setting up structured timetables and seeing the improvements in my grades, have helped my um, well-being immensely because seeing myself improving further and further has given me more confidence that I can take on whatever college throws at me next year. I feel a lot more relaxed knowing that I have a system that works for me. I have the right techniques now and I can balance my time way better. You know, my whole work ethic has changed and that's just great.